you'll recognize our next guest from movies like Dreamgirls, Fat Albert, and Dear John. And now he's starring in the new James Brown biopic, Get On Up. And joining us with more on The Godfather of Soul and his own thriving career is Keith Robinson. Welcome to Arise 360. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah. So let's talk about Get On Up. Yes. It chronicles the life of the legendary musician James Brown, and yeah. you play one of his original bandmates, Sweet right. Baby Roy. Sweet Baby Roy. <laughs> Sweet Baby Roy. So what drew you to this project? Other well, than that name. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, being a musician, I mean, you, you got to be influenced by the Godfather of Soul, so that was the big draw. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody wanted, wants to be a part of something so legendary. And then uh, I'm, I went to high school in Augusta. As everybody knows, James Brown is from Augusta, so it was kind of cool to make that connection. So it was just, you know, and all the players involved, you know, Mick Jagger's producing it, and Chadwick, and Viola Davis, and Octavia Spencer, just a great cast. Tate Taylor, great director. So as an artist, you, you want to be down with it. So mm -hmm. it We're going to ask you about the cast. What yeah. was the energy like on set? Yeah. looks like you guys had such a great time. The energy was great. I mean, it was, um, it, it was, it was something to see every day. You know, the performances were amazing. Uh, even the musicians who came in to, to work on the movie were great musicians. Uh, some of some of them actually played with Mr. Brown, so uh, it was it was high energy because we're, we know we're telling an important story, and um, you know we got to bring the funk every day. Bring the mm -hmm. funk every day. How did you every prepare day. to bring the funk every day? Well, you know I'm a musician anyway, so that wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. But um, you know once you get into costumes and, yeah. and the sets, and I, I actually played bass guitar in this movie for the first time. I actually learned to play bass for a couple songs on this one. Wow. Really? I wouldn't charge you to hear me yet. Uh, okay, <laughs> but we'll pay yeah. gladly that's right, that's right. next time you come back. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool though. It was it was uh, it wasn't really that hard, you know, because it, it was the energy was there. Did yeah. you feel like the spirit of James Brown was there on set as well? I felt like it in, in, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I, I, I felt like a lot of things lined up perfectly for for us to be able to make this movie happen and get off the ground. Everybody, all the players that uh, should have been involved were, I think. So. Um, I think that kind of embodies James Brown's spirit. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned another legend. Mick yeah. Jagger is one yeah. of the producers of the movie. How yeah. involved was he in this production? Very involved. I mean, he's one of the main producers. Uh, it was kind of surreal to see him sitting behind the monitor some days. You know, and... Uh, so Mick. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. But uh, he was very involved. You know, as you know, the Rolling Stones and James Brown were uh, familiar with each other for years. They were friends and so forth. So uh, that's something I learned. I, I never knew that. but. Uh, He's a pretty, really cool, down-to-earth dude. Yeah, Big Mick rock Jagger's star. been very honest about the fact that yeah. a lot of his moves came from James Brown. He was heavily yeah. influenced by his, his on-stage wizardry. Yeah, 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 indeed. So we have to ask you, what's mm -hmm. your favorite James Brown song? Yes. Everybody's probably, got at least one. Probably, you know, I'll Go Crazy is a song that may not be as pop, but I love that song. I actually remade that song. And uh, Man's World, you know, you, mm. gotta, you gotta love Man's World. How does World. that go again? Mm -hmm. This is a man's world. Oh. It wouldn't be nothing, nothing without a girl. <laughs> All right now. I like it. You <laughs> can like rock it. that, right? Yeah. Now, is it true you... It's true. I, it's, not, true. Right. <laughs> it's true. That's right. why I love it. It's true. <laughs> now, is it also true that you were actually a singer before you were an actor, and you yeah. actually had a contract for Motown while you were in college? Yeah, this, yeah, this is a long time ago. Not that long. Oh, about five, uh, ten years, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Six months. Six months. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. I was in a group. It was me and two other guys, and we got a deal in college. I went to the University of Georgia, and uh, what was the name of your group? State of Mind. Oh, oh I like that. Okay. Like that? Okay. Yeah, I made that one up. <laughs> um, but you know, the deal. We got out of the deal, and we ended up moving to, to uh, Hollywood to try to resign. And really, we just were going. You know, we going to go out there for a year and try to get another record deal and make a record and come back home. Uh, so I told my girl at the time, and that was that was 14 years ago. So. Uh, oh. I ended up staying. The acting thing kind of kicked in once I got to Hollywood. So. Wait, so how'd you make the leap from singing to acting? You believe it or not, I went to an acting class just on a chance uh, because I really wanted to improve my stage presence, like, you know, James Brown. And I went with a friend who was an actress, and I was kind of sitting to the side. They didn't have enough readers. Mm -hmm. Teacher let me read. She thought I had some talent. She called me back three weeks later to go read for Power Rangers, which I didn't know, <sighs> what, well, I didn't know what it was, but I went in red, and I ended up beating out like 5,000 people, and that started my acting career. Wait, so you were like, in Power Rangers? The proper I, Power Rangers? Yeah. You're I'm, the Green I'm Ranger, a, right? I'm the Green Ranger. <laughs> Are you yeah. kidding? Yeah. Did so you do your own stunts? We did some of the stunts, you know, if it was five to six aliens, then we, it would be us, but when a whole group of aliens came, we would morph, and then that'd be a little Japanese stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> you were a little Japanese stuntman. Yeah. Something okay, so in addition to being a Power Ranger, you were also in Dreamgirls. I was, yeah. Yes, mm, talk yeah. to us about what that experience was like. Again, another musical show. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it was like being a part of the Dream Team. It was yeah. The cast is incredible. Um, you got Jamie Foxx, Beyonce, Jennifer Hudson, Danny the list Glover, goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, it yeah. goes on and on. So, um, 
that was that was great. That was fantastic. I mean, it was kind of everybody. The energy was the same because we knew Dreamgirls was already an established great piece on Broadway, so we knew we had to really bring it. We had the ingredients to to make something incredible, and I think I think we did. So. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was incredible. Do you like starring in movies where you have the ability to mix your two loves, music and acting? I love it. Um, I absolutely love it yeah. because I, that, that's, I do both. I truly love to sing. I truly love to act. I think you know every scene has a rhythm to it. Every 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 song has an element of drama. So mm -hmm. to get a chance to marry him is, is right up my alley. Who is the bigger diva, Jay Hud or Beyonce? <laughs> You know what? I know this is boring, but neither were divas. No, no come, come on. on. Everybody hates that. Come but they, on. they were super cool. Shannon's I mean, the bigger diva on our <laughs> yeah, show. Clearly. Yeah. Water, please. Yeah. Water. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in the green room. I yeah. Right. All about him. Right, right, right. right. I don't exist. Oh, God. Right. You do exist. <laughs> Barely. We're, we're with you. We're, okay. Thank we're you. <laughs> So what's next for you? What other projects are you working on? Um, well, I got a brand new single called Famous, which will be out uh, August the 5th, followed by an EP called Love Episodic, which will be out later this year. And I actually wrote the whole EP while filming the movie, kind of inspired from the movie, kind of, you know, writing these songs in my hotel room. I went back and recorded them once I got back to L.A., so I'm excited about that. All right. And, uh, Is Famous movie. about the rigors of fame? Famous for me, it, it, it's, it's called Famous for Loving You is the name of the song, but okay. uh, for me it's about... Uh, just my love for, for music and mm -hmm. you no know, matter how much uh, television and film stuff I'm able to do in my career, I, I will always have a, a special love place in my heart for the love of music. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like, you know, I could, oh, I could be talking to a woman. It's whatever your interpretation is. Mm -hmm. You can say it's for your woman, but for me, okay. that it has works. different meanings, <laughs> brother. I, 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 I make that open to the listener. It's very you think layered. It, right, like right. It. It's layered. Yeah, yeah. music exactly. metaphor for a woman. I like it. You I like that? it. There you go. Okay. And yeah. you think you always continue to do both simultaneously? God willing, I want to. I mean, I hope I never have to choose. I mean, it's, it's, it kind of happened like that organically, so I want it to stay that way. And the single drops next month, right? The single drops August the 5th. Okay. The movie's August the 1st. Uh, and I have another movie called Crew, which mm -hmm. is uh, which will be out later this fall as All well. All right, talk to us about Crew really quickly. Uh, what's a, it's a heavy emotional drama. It's myself. It's Harry Lennox, Richard T. Jones, uh, Melissa D'Souza, um, Allison Eastwood, Clint Eastwood's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, it just we just won best best pick, and I won best actor, best narrative, and so forth at the uh, American uh, Black Film Festival here in New York about a month ago. Thanks. And uh, it'll be out this fall. It's a, it's a tearjerker. The you're least. leading that one. I am, yeah. Wow. You're going to cry. You'll cry on that one, I promise you. Guys and women. Guys. Everybody's I've crying. Seen, I've seen grown men break down. Uh, did you cry? Me, no. No. Well, I did it on camera, but. You know. <laughs> okay. I'll get my tissues ready. Tissues <laughs> ready. Right. And we'll also get ready to see you and get on up. It's That's right. fantastic. Yeah, and sure. come back for crew. I will. All right. All right. We'll see I you will. then. It's Absolutely. a date. Sounds like All a right. date. All, All right. right. And you're I'm watching Arise Entertainment 360.